Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this teeny tiny little burger. <music> And for this burger, we're gonna need four main colors. We're gonna need a bread color. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of brown for the bread roll and a little bit of red for the tomato. And you can need some yellow for the cheese and a little bit of green for the piece of lettuce there as well. And these are all a DK light worsted weight yarn. It's a yarn weight of three, but you can use any yarn that you like really. And with that, we're going to be, let's drop my hook. We're going to be using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. It's quite a little small hook this week. And you're probably not gonna need any toy stuffing, so we're gonna use yarn scraps just to stuff the main top part of the burger. But you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. So that's one with a big eye at the end. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so I've just separated out my little burger into individual parts. We're gonna start bottom up, I think, with the flat piece of bread roll at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna take our bread roll color to begin. We're gonna do a chain four loop. So let's just move these over here. We're gonna do a chain four loop to begin. You can use the magic circle as well if you prefer. Um, you can always alternate between the magic circle technique or the chain four techniques, totally up to you. But we're just gonna do a little slip knot with our brown yarn. We're gonna chain four. So, chain one, two, three, and four, chain four. We're gonna put our hook into our first chain. So there's our little slip knots. Find that first chain that you did. Put your hook into there. I'm gonna bring the yarn through that first chain. We're gonna bring the yarn straight through the loop on our hook. Okay, and that creates a little loop of our four chains joined at the beginning and the end. And we're gonna work some stitches into the middle of that loop. Don't confuse it with your first chain hole which can look quite big. You need to find that center hole there. So we're going to chain one first and we're going to work uh, seven single crochets. So this pattern's in US terminology so in UK terminology that'll be a double crochet. We're going to work seven single crochet into the center of this loop. So be careful to avoid that big first chain hole. We're going to find the center, hook, hook into there and bring the yarn through the middle. The middle gets easier to see the more stitches we do. And then yarn over, pull through two to do a single crochet. We want seven of those, and you're just wrapping it around the chains. So that's one. Get back into the middle. Bring the yarn through. Do another one. Two. We want seven, so two. Three. So you can see the centre hole gets bigger the more stitches you work in. Seven. So we've got seven of these single crochet. And if you've worked into the centre, you should be able to just pull that beginner tail end just to bring in that centre hole a bit. Then find the first single crochet that you made. And we're going to put our hook into there. Going under both bits of the yarn stitch. Bring the yarn through that first single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch to join the round. Okay, then for the second round, we're going to do a little chain one first. Don't count that as a stitch again. Then go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into. You wanna go back into there. Go back into that first single crochet again. And in there, we're going to do two single crochet. So bring the yarn through and do a single crochet and then we're going to go back into the same stitch to do another one. Okay, so you've got two single crochet in the same stitch. We're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around and so you should end up with a stitch count of 14 so doubling up from seven by the end of the round. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through and do a single crochet. 
and back into the same stitch again. So you've got two in there, two in there. So we're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around back to the beginning. And if you want, you can count as you go, and you should have 14. So that's six, seven, and eight in the next one. Okay, you just go up to the last stitch 13 and 14. 13 and another one in there 14 okay so we've got a stitch count of 14 it looks like there's one more stitch at the end there but that's what i call a fake stitch that's just there to confuse you um, because you've worked into your first stitch you see so once you've got a stitch count of 14 skip that little fake stitch there find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there let's put a hook into there bring the arm through there straight through the loop on your hook to join the round okay so that's the end of round two the next round again we're going to do a little chain one but don't count that as a stitch go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into again back into there and do one single crochet just the one this time then in the next stitch do two single crochet so two in the next one one and another one in the same stitch and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself, just the one. Then in the next stitch we do two single crochet. One. And another one in the same stitch. And repeat that. So next stitch one single crochet, then the next stitch two single crochet. Then one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning. Should end on two single crochet. Uh, don't work into that fake stitch. And you should have a stitch count of 21, I think. So we'll double check at the end. So one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. So I should do that and then I shall come back and show you what to do next. Okay, just coming up to the last two stitches and again repeating that pattern of one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in that very last stitch. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay. Then we've got a little fake stitch there. Don't work into that. Find your first single crochet, put your hook into there and do a slip stitch to join the round. And there we go, that's the end of that round. You should have a stitch count of 21. Let's just double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. So there we go, seven times table. Okay, so that's the end of our base. And um, all we do now is we are going to cut our yarn and we're just going to pull that through our yarn needle and then tie in our tail end. And what I do is I just sew through the same stitch slip stitched into to get to the back. Just give it a little pull, creates a nice rounded edge and then I'm just going to sew through some stitches and if your tail end's too short you can just take it out for a sec, feed in the needle and then thread it back on. That's what I do. There we go, and that should be more than enough. You can always sew back in the opposite direction if you want it even more secure. It's up to you. Cut, trim the tail ends, and there we go. That is the base of our burger. And we can use these tail ends for stuffing at the ends. So let's put those to the side. Okay, so that's the uh, the base for our little burger. So there we go, another little base, turn it upside down. And now we're going to move on to our little piece of lettuce, this piece here. Okay, so we're going to take our green yarn next. Okay, so we're going to take our green yarn this time, and it's very, very similar to our base. We're going to do a chain four loop. So do another chain four loop. It's chain four. One, two, three, and four. This yarn's a bit rougher than my other yarn. And then we're going to put our hook into our first single uh, first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain and straight for the loop on your hook, 
just do a little full chain loop. So exactly the same as our base we did in brown. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Then working into the center again, don't work into that first chain hole that can look quite big. We're going to do six single crochet this time, six. Let's bring the yarn through the middle, wrapping it around the chains, do six single crochet. So that's one, two, three, And six so we only want six this time okay six single crochet pull that middle hopefully it comes in if you worked into the right hole then find your first single crochet so one two three four five six there it is and slip stitch into there to join the round making sure it's gone to two bits of yarn so, bring the yarn through there straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to do something a little bit different so let's have a look at this one we're going to create these little pico edges to create that little sort of lettuce effect so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain three one two and three we're going to chain three we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch we just slip stitched into this first single crochet put a hook back into there and do a little slip stitch secures a little pico of chains. We'll do that again. We're going to chain three straight away. One, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch into that same stitch again. So we've gone into there a few times. So bring it through the stitch, then through the loop. Okay, so you've got two little three chain picots in that first stitch. Then move over to the next stitch and do a slip stitch to bring the yarn through and through your loop. We're going to do one little pico in this one, just the one. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch we moved over to, that we slip stitched into the bottom. Okay, so we're just doing one little three chain pico in there. Then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and move over to the next one. And then we're going to do two little picots in there. So three chain, chain three, one, two, three. Slip stitch in that same stitch you just slip stitched into to secure your little three chains into a picot. And we're gonna do that again. So straight away we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then slip stitch into that same stitch again that you just slip stitched into, so all in that same stitch. Okay, so so far you've only worked into three stitches, but you have five picots. You did two in the first stitch, just one in the next, and then two in the next. Then slip stitch into the next stitch, your fourth stitch, do a little slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and do a slip stitch in the same stitch again. But we're just doing the one this time, just the one. Just the one pico in there, and get that slip stitch. Okay, so we're just doing the one in there. Move over to the next stitch, this will be your fifth stitch, and do a slip stitch into there. And this time we're gonna do two picots. So we're gonna chain three, One, two, three, slip stitch in that stitch below, and chain three straight away. One, two, three, and slip stitch in that same stitch again. Just find where they're all congregating and go back into there. Careful not to work into the next stitch by accident. Okay, and that should leave you with one stitch, which is there. And then that's our fake stitch. So slip stitch in the last stitch, move over. We're just going to do one pico. So chain three, one, two, 
three and slip stitch in the stitch below. Don't worry if you end up doing um, too many picots or not enough picots. As long as you end up with some picots, you'll have a lettuce leaf. I mean, lettuce is not perfect, so your work doesn't have to be perfect. And then when you've done your little last picot, we're just going to move over to where those first two picots were, put your hook into that first stitch and do a little slip stitch to join the round. And there's our lettuce. And we can cut a yarn to pull that through. And again, tie in your tail end like you did on this first piece. Just going to sew to the back. Turn it over. Work through some stitches. And trim down the excess. And save those tail ends for stuffing. Put those there. Okay, so there's our little lettuce leaf, like so. We alternated between doing two picots and just one pico, two picots and one pico, two picots, and then just the one into our six six stitches. Okay, so there is our little piece of lettuce. Now let's move on to the cheese. Now the cheese is a little bit different. We're not working the round. We're going to work in rows instead. So we're going to take our yellow, and we are going to chain six. We're going to work in rows. So we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So chain six. We're going to do a half double crochet this time. So a half double in UK terminology would be a half treble. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to work into our second chain from our hook, so we don't count the loop on our hook as a chain. There's our first one, there's our second. So find that second chain down, which would be your fourth one along. Put your yarn into there and hook into there and do a half double crochet. So pull through all three loops. I'm going to do one half double crochet in the remaining four stitches as well. Actually, it's our fifth chain we worked into, wasn't it? Because we did six. So go into the next chain. Do a half double crochet, half double crochet in the next chain, yarn over, half double crochet in the next chain, and a half double crochet in that last chain. So you end up with a stitch count of five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And what we're going to do, we're going to work some rows of half double crochet. But I can't remember how many rows we did. How many rows did we do? I did. Um, how many did I do? One, two, three, four. So I just did four rows. But what we're going to do is we're going to chain one at the end. Don't count that as a stitch. Do a little chain one. It's a little turning stitch. I'm going to turn our work, yarn over, and go straight into that first stitch there. Going on to both bits of yarn, do another half double crochet. Do one half double crochet in each stitch across. You should have five. Two, three, four, and the last one's always slightly on the edge. If I do this, so I don't have to work into chains. So I work into my second stitch, not my third. Half double crochet. Okay, so that's our second row. We're going to do two more rows. Again, chain one at the end. Don't count that as a stitch and turn. Yarn over, go into that very first stitch, do a half double crochet in there, and do one half double crochet in each stitch across. Keeping a stitch count of five. Two. Three. Five, and we'll do one more row, chain one, don't count it as a stitch, turn, yarn over, go into that first stitch, do a half double crochet, and do one in each stitch across. Keeping a stitch count of five, two, three, four, 
and five. Okay, so you've done four rows in total. Should be quite square shaped, like so. Cut our yarn, and then pull your tail in through, and then we're going to sew in our tail ends. And to keep a fairly sh sort of 90 degree angle on that corner, take our tail end, and we're going to just sew just slightly over from where the RN stitches to the back. Just pull. That keeps a nice corner there, and then hide your tail ends. Like you did with the other pieces. Okay, so I've hid those tail ends, sewn them in. Keep the yarn scraps for stuffing. Just have loads by the end of this. And there is our little piece of cheese. So we'll put that down there. Now we're going to move on to the tiny little tomato. Like so. Piece of tomato. Or tomato. However you want to pronounce it. Tomato, tomato. So we're going to take our red yarn. And again, we're going to do a chain four loop. So we're going back to doing chain four loops. Little slip knots. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. I've got this smoothie yarn, which is nicer to work with. And put your hook into your first chain. Bring the yarn through and straight for the loop on your hook to make a little four chain loop. Do a little chain one, but don't count that as a stitch. We're going to do seven single crochet in the center. So you hook into the middle. Do seven single crochet. So one. Yeah, catch that tail end. Back into the middle. Do another single crochet. Two and seven. So we've got the seven single crochet. And if you work to the middle, you should be able to just pull that center closed a bit. Find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there. Bring the yarn through, straight for the loop and your hook. Okay, so we've got a stitch count of seven and it's similar to the beginning of our burger. We are going to do a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch. Go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into and do two single crochet. One, another one in the same stitch. So two in that first one. We'll do two single crochet into each stitch around. So we end up with a stitch count of 14. Okay, so we do two in the next one. Two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. And then two in the next one. And two in each stitch around. So you end up with a stitch count of 14. 14, so that's 2, 13 and 14, 13 and 14 and then that's your fake stitch there to trick you so skip that, find your first single crochet, find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there, so bring the yarn through and straight for the loop on your hook. Okay so you should have a stitch count of 14 and that's the end of your tomato, so quite simple. Trim the yarn, put it through, and hide your tail ends like you have for all the other pieces. Okay, so keep our little tail end bits, and that is all there is to our little tomato piece. Tomato, 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 tomato. Just put that down there, and now we are going to create the top of our burger bun, which is a little bit different. Now, the first three rounds are exactly the same as our base. So what I'm going to do now is rather than do that again on camera is I'm just going to insert the beginning of this video here so you know what to do for the first three rounds because it's the same. So you don't have to skip back, I'll just edit it in so that you do the first few rounds and then I'll come back with another piece that looks like this but we're going to carry on and do something a bit different. So I shall do that and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay. We're just going to do a little slip knot with our brown yarn. We're going to chain four. So, chain one, two, three, and four. Chain four. We're going to put our hook into our first chain. So there's our little slip knots. So find that first chain that you did. Put your hook into there. I'm going to bring the yarn through that first chain. We're going to bring the yarn straight through the loop on our hook. Okay, and that creates a little loop of our four chains joined at the beginning and the end. And we're going to work some stitches into the middle 
of that loop. Don't confuse it with your first chain hole, which can look quite big. You need to find that center hole there. So we're going to chain one first. And we're going to work uh, seven single crochets. This pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terminology, that'll be a double crochet. We're going to work seven single crochet into the center of this loop. So be careful to avoid that big first chain hole. We're going to find the center. Hook, hook into there and bring the arm through the middle. The middle gets easier to see the more stitches we do. And then yarn over, pull through two to do a single crochet. We want seven of those, and you're just wrapping it around the chains. So that's one. Get back into the middle. Bring the yarn through. Do another one. Two. We want seven. So two. Three. So you can see the center hole gets bigger the more stitches you work in. Seven. So we've got seven of these single crochet. And if you've worked into the center, you should be able to just pull that beginner tail end just to bring in that center hole a bit. Then find the first single crochet that you made. And we're going to put a hook into there. Going under both bits of the yarn stitch. Bring the yarn through that first single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch to join the round. Okay, then for the second round we're going to do a little chain one first, don't count that as a stitch again. Then go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, you want to go back into there, go back into that first single crochet again. And in there we're going to do two single crochet, so bring the arm through and do a single crochet and then we're going to go back into the same stitch to do another one. Okay, so you've got two single crochet in the same stitch. We're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around and so you should end up with a stitch count of 14 if you're doubling up from seven by the end of the round. So we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through and do a single crochet and back into the same stitch again. So you've got two in there, two in there. So we're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around back to the beginning. And if you want, you can count as you go and you should have 14. So that's six, seven and eight in the next one. Okay, you just come up to the last stitch. 13 and 14, 13, and another one in there, 14. Okay, so we've got a stitch count of 14. It looks like there's one more stitch at the end there, but that's what I call a fake stitch. That's just there to confuse you um, because you've worked into your first stitch, you see. So once you've got a stitch count of 14, skip that little fake stitch there, find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there. Let's put a hook into there. Bring the yarn through there, straight through the loop on your hook to join the round. Okay, so that's the end of round two. The next round, again, we're gonna do a little chain one, but don't count that as a stitch. Go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into again, back into there, and do one single crochet, just the one this time. Then in the next stitch, do two single crochet. So two in the next one. One, and another one in the same stitch. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself, just the one. Then in the next stitch we do two single crochet. One, and another one in the same stitch. And repeat that, so next stitch one single crochet, then the next stitch two single crochet. Then one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning. You should end on two single crochet. Uh, don't work into that fake stitch. And you should have a stitch count of 21, I think. So double check at the end. So one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet. One and 
another one the same stitch. Okay, so I should do that and then I shall come back and show you what to do next. Okay, just coming up to the last two stitches and again repeating that pattern of one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in that very last stitch. So one and another one the same stitch. Okay. Then we've got a little fake stitch there, don't work into that. Find your first single crochet, put your hook into there and do a slip stitch to join the round. There we go, that's the end of that round. You should have a stitch count of 21. Let's just double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. So there we go, seven times table. Okay, okay, so hopefully you've repeated the same steps for the beginning. Again, those first three rounds, but we're not going to cut our yarn. We're going to carry on for the top of our burger. So you should have a stitch count of 21. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so that creates a little bit of length and it helps it curve round. So we're going to chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the same stitch we slip stitched into, just the one. And we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So the next stitch we do one single crochet, then the next stitch we do one single crochet, and so on and so forth. So just do one single crochet into each stitch. Keeping, so you end up keeping a stitch count of 21. Okay, so you might want to count to 21 as you go. And we're gonna do that for two rounds. So if you're fairly confident what to do at the end, just do that for two rounds and then I'll come back. Okay, when you get to the end of the round, this is just my first round. Just make sure you don't work into that fake stitch, skip the fake stitch, find that first single crochet, check your stitch counts 21, slip stitch into there. And we need to do that for one more round, so again we chain one at the beginning, don't count it as a stitch, go back into the same stitch you slip stitched into, do one single crochet in there and one single crochet in each stitch around. And also you want to make sure you're popping it out away from you, okay, so we've got this nice side on top. And again, skip the fake stitch. It's the end of my second round. Find that first single crochet, slip stitch into there. And we are done. We're done for the curvy bit, like so. And what we're gonna do, so it's open this side, cut our yarn, just cut your yarn, pull your tail in through, and then hide your tail ends on the inside. So when you sew, it to the inside though, just go through the same stitch you slip stitched into. Just pop that so it keeps the same stitch count nice and easy to, mm -hmm. to see. You can pop it inside out and hide that tail end. So reverse that back round and that is going to be the top of our burger. Now as you can see there is a bit missing at the bottom so what we need to do is create another one of these bases here and we're going to sew that on. So again go back and make another one of these. Uh, I'm not going to show you those steps again, <laughs> um, so just go back. Or do you want me to? Do you want me to edit that in again? I'll edit that bit in again, so you know how to make another one of these. So, and then we'll make another one of these and come back. Okay. So, watch it again. <laughs> we're just going to do a little slip knot with our brown yarn. We're going to chain four. So, chain one, two, three and four, chain four. We're going to put our hook into our first chain. So there's our little slip knots. Find that first chain that you did. Put your hook into there. I'm going to bring the yarn through that first chain. We're going to bring the yarn straight through the loop on our hook. Okay, and that creates a little loop of our four chains joined at the beginning and the end. And we're going to work some stitches into the middle of that loop. Don't confuse it with your first chain hole which can look quite big, you need to find that centre hole there. So we're going to chain one first and we're going to work uh, seven single crochets, so this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terminology that'll be a double crochet. We're going to work seven single crochet into the centre of this loop, so be careful to avoid that big first chain hole. We're going to find the centre, hook, hook into there and bring the arm through the middle. The middle gets easier to see 
the more stitches we do. And then yarn over, pull through two to do a single crochet. We want seven of those, and you're just wrapping it around the chains. So that's one. Get back into the middle. Bring the yarn through. Do another one. Two. We want seven, so two. Three. Four. One more, so you can see the centre hole gets bigger the more stitches you work in. Seven, so we've got seven of these single crochet, and if you've worked into the centre, you should be able to just pull that beginner tail end just to bring in that centre hole a bit. Then find the first single crochet that you made, and we're going to put our hook into there, going under both bits of the yarn stitch. Bring the yarn through that first single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch to join the round. Okay, then for the second round we're going to do a little chain one first, don't count that as a stitch again. Then go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, you want to go back into there, go back into that first single crochet again. And in there we're going to do two single crochet, so bring the arm through and do a single crochet, and then we're going to go back into the same stitch to do another one. Okay, so you've got two single crochet in the same stitch. We're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around, and so you should end up with a stitch count of 14, so doubling up from seven by the end of the round. So we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, and do a single crochet and back into the same stitch again. So you've got two in there, two in there. So we're going to do two single crochet into each stitch around, back to the beginning. And if you want, you can count as you go, and you should have 14. So that's six, seven and eight in the next one. Okay, just go up to the last stitch. 13 and 14, 13 and another one in there, 14. Okay, so we've got a stitch count of 14. It looks like there's one more stitch at the end there, but that's what I call a fake stitch. That's just there to confuse you um, because you've worked into your first stitch, you see. So once you've got a stitch count of 14, skip that little fake stitch there, find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there. Let's put a hook into there. Bring the yarn through there, and straight through the loop on your hook to join the round. Okay, so that's the end of round two. The next round, again, we're gonna do a little chain one, but don't count that as a stitch. Go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into again, back into there, and do one single crochet, just the one this time. Then in the next stitch, do two single crochets. So two in the next one. One, and another one in the same stitch. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself, just the one. Then in the next stitch we do two single crochet. One, and another one in the same stitch. And repeat that, so next stitch one single crochet, then the next stitch two single crochet. Then one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning. You should end on two single crochet. Uh, don't work into that fake stitch. And you should have a stitch count of 21, I think. So we'll double check at the end. So one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. So I should do that and then I shall come back and show you what to do next. Okay, just coming up to the last two stitches and again repeating that pattern of one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in that very last stitch. So one and another one the same stitch. Okay. Then we've got a little fake stitch there, don't work into that. Find your first single crochet, put your hook into there 
and do a slip stitch to join the round. There we go, that's the end of that round. You should have a stitch count of 21. Let's just double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. So there we go, seven times table. Okay, okay, so made a third one of these and uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this one now. So just like the base here. But what you wanna do is leave a bit of a tail for sewing. So don't cut it too short and just pull a nice long tail through and we're going to take this end and sew it on and we're just going to sew through the same stitch we just slip stitched into like so then we're going to take our top here and we need to match them up like this and you should have 21 stitches on here and 21 on here as well so they should match up so if you can start with the beginning stitch which is the messiest one tuck your tail ends on the inside what we're going to do is we're just going to go over on the top down onto the bottom then over on the bottom and up to the top and do that all the way around over on the top and down to the bottom and then over on the bottom and up to the top so do that all the way around but leave a little bit of gap you might want to get your stuffing now also all these little scraps that you cut off Let's shove those all in there and then close that and then carry on sewing Let's carry on sewing Okay, so over on the top and down on the bottom. So do that all the way around until it is sewn closed. So I should do that and then come back and show you the finished burger. Okay, so when you've finished sewing, all we need to do is just sew somewhere on your project. Just through there. And so over, go back in where you came out and go maybe over the other side. That should disappear on the inside. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push this down and just squeeze your project, hold that tight. Cut as close as you can and that should disappear on the inside of your tail end. And there we go, there is the top of our burger, like so. All we have to do is to put it all together, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to put the base on and then, actually got two of these now, haven't we? So it doesn't matter what order you put it in really, we can mix it up and have the cheese on the bottom, <laughs> the lettuce on top, it's entirely up to you. And there we go, so that is our little burger. These make really cute, fun earrings or key rings, whatever you like. And if you want it to stay together, what you could do is always just thread a piece of yarn through the top, right for the middle, and tie it on the bottom if you want to. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. I hope it's inspired you. And I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. But if you don't know about it already, I have just started a new knitting channel. So if you want to learn to knit, you've always wanted to learn to knit and you enjoy my tutorials, then do go check out my knitting channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash happy berry knitting. And uh, oops, and uh, I've got three videos up there at the moment. I've got how to cast on in two ways, how to do the knit stitch, how to do the purl stitch with some added techniques in my video so I hope you might go check those out and I'll see you soon thanks for watching guys bye